What's going on all you gamers? Today we're going back to a little bit more Diablo 2 Resurrected and we're trying to find out if it's worth your time to farm cows on Hell difficulty. So if you want to see if it's worth your time going back to the secret cow level, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you gamers, as always Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, all the latest and greatest hints, tips, guides and builds, and just fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon and join the Sofa Squad. But for today we're here to find out about this level right here, the cow level. Is it worth your time, you've completed the game, you've beat Bao, and you've done most of the things around. But is it worth your time going back to Tristram, grabbing Wurt's leg, and going back to this cow level on a harder difficulty? Now first up, just in case you don't know how to get the cow level, I will chuck a link up top right, as it's something that you'll definitely want to know. But like I said, is it worth doing on Hell difficulty? In order to be able to go back here, you have to have completed the whole game on Hell difficulty, beaten Bowl, and pretty much finished most things off. So whether or not you want to continue and go back to the cow level all depends on yourself. Are you still trying to gear up? Would you like to gear up other characters? Would you like to get stronger? Would you like to get more skill points? Are you missing a lot of gear? Like myself, I completely finished Hell and was just an absolute hobo. I had nothing, I had hardly any gear, I still hit like a wet sponge. Most of it came, most of my damage pretty much just came from having skill points in the right trees and such. But I'm still very undergeared and I'd like to grab some more loot. So is Hell Cows a good place to do that? Now with this area, I would definitely say there are some pros and some cons. One of the best pros that you will get, one, you can come here as often as you want, it's really easy to do, which with some of the other farmable areas unfortunately isn't. Two, this is one of the best density places. If you play games like this often, you'll know where there's a lot of enemies in an absolute abundance, it usually means you've got more chance of a nice drop, just because you're going to be killing things more often, meaning you've got more chance of things dropping on the ground for you. Everything's RNG, obviously, so it doesn't mean you definitely will, but in general that's how these games work. And the cow level definitely has that in abundance. You can quite easily grab up almost the whole area. I would highly suggest if you've just beaten Bell and maybe you're still undergeared, probably don't do that, as I tried it and it took me an absolute age to kill the cows. I think I spent more time running away than anything else. The thing with this area, one thing that you definitely, definitely need to know, even though it's a pro because there's absolutely loads of the enemies here, they have really high health. So if you're not hitting like an absolute truck, it may well be in your best interest to only gather up one or two groups at a time, mow them down and then move on to the next lot. If you grab everything up, make sure you have really high damage or a way to keep them at distance because otherwise you are going to fall over. <laughs> Another pro, like I said, the loot. They do drop an awful lot of loot. And even though it's not the highest level area, I believe it's only an 82, I'll double check just to make sure, it's definitely not an 85, meaning you can't get everything. You won't be able to get all of the uniques in the game here. If you're coming here to try and get the highest level best uniques in the game, this isn't the area for you. However, if you're after a lot of drops, and I would definitely say, for example, if you're missing a lot of things for recipes, say for example, flawless gems or socketed items, this place is one of the best places I've found to find things such as that. In general, I found whilst farming here, runes drop quite regularly. I was getting an abundance, I don't know why, but I was getting an abundance of green set items, more so than anywhere else I've ever farmed. I don't know if that was just down to my RNG for the last couple of days, but I've definitely found a lot more greens here than usual. You also tend to come across quite a few charms, and like I said, the main reason I would come here would be to get those gems. Flawless gems drop here very, very often, so do some of the other rarities. But also, if you're looking for a base, if you're looking for a grey item with a lot of sockets, this is definitely the place. You will very, very often find grey items dropping on the ground. Check them over, see if it's got what you need in order to make that really nice rune word you're after. If you're after ones with three, four, five sockets and stuff, this is definitely the place to go. I found they drop here a lot more than pretty much any other area I have farmed. Right, so like I said, there's a lot of monsters here, there's a lot of drops here, it's probably one of the best places to farm your grey socketed items in order to make the rune words. Also, you can get a nice chunk of XP. But again, with everything, what's the downsides? 
So for the negatives, I would definitely say one is there's quite a few immunities here. If you're coming in here and you're ice or fire, sometimes they definitely can spawn with immunities that can absolutely ruin your runs. It really can be a nightmare running away from something that you just can't hurt. So if you are able to make sure you've got a bit of physical about you, that definitely can help. One thing that I found, if you can run with a friend or someone else doing a lot of runs of these, that can definitely work in your favour because you're going to clear things much faster. Two, like I said, they hit like a truck, they have health like a truck. If your build is not on in the slightest, so say for example you're really really lacking in damage, you're going to struggle to get the kills, you're going to be spending a lot of time farming here when there probably are better places out there to actually go and farm. And last but definitely not least, like I said, it is not a level 85 area. Meaning that although you can get some nice gear here, you won't be getting the best gear here. And if you're spending an awful long time here, you may well want to spend it somewhere else. So to summarise, do I think it's worth coming here to actually grind cows on hell difficulty after you complete the game? Honestly, yes. Yes, I do. I would say it's very situational and I would do it if I need certain things. Like I said, if I'm after a lot of flawless gems, if I'm after some base items for my actual rune words, this is probably going to be my go-to. It is absolutely amazing for those type of things and you can get a lot of other loot to sell on the way. But again, if you are just after those single items, such as your grey base items for your rune words or your nice jewels or even runes, maybe you're even after a green set piece, this may well be the place for you. Even though most times green set pieces I've been selling lately because they're not the best. But you may get lucky, you may find a good one. All in all, it's well worth a try. You'll find some nice gear here. You've just got to make sure you can actually take them out before they take you out because they are quite tough here. A lot harder than I thought they would be after I've been in the game. Roll you gamers, I hope that's helped a few of you out. As always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox. Take care. I'll see you on the next day.